Hey, it's Triple A, and welcome to a new modded Minecraft series. Welcome to Brixhaven. Um, it's actually the... What is it this called? Arcanum Institute. But, um, since it's lining up with the releases of the Welcome to Strixhaven D&D series on my Twitch channel, I'm calling it Welcome to Brixhaven. That is a beautiful building. Uh, this is going to be taking place of the All the Magic series that stopped working because the world corrupted. And these are all NPCs. <laughs> I heard that our creator is a really talented programmer, that's why his game is so cool. Uh, here's the introduction zone, but I'm going to quickly take a look at the things. They gave us some food. Got some, uh, cherry peaches, some apple slices, and a quest book. Welcome! Dear new students, honor to grant you... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, step into the world and stuff. Up to no good. Find, uh, planes from our students and staff over the years who are lost. Created an interactive map for your convenience. You can be found within your quest book. And here is the map. With a little guide and stuff. So that's right here. Gotcha. And then find the headmaster in the dining hall. And we'll get our first eccentric tome. So the dining hall... Dining hall. But to give it two XP levels? Oh, to give a... Te oh, you can get teleports. That's very useful. Okay. So let me hit the introduction zone. Botany flower. I'm Zora, Pixie of the Arcanum Institute. Just follow the path here. Okay. Whee! Doop, ba doop. This is the... Uh, Lumazir Zora. Hello. The Lumazir over here. Or follow the scenic route. I prefer to take the Lumazir. See, so yes, this is a... Uh, I've never done a mod pack on a custom map before, but this one looked really interesting. And because it that has nice synergy with the Twitch series we're doing, I thought I would do it. Hello. Did I pass it? Or am I taking, this might be the scenic route. I might be taking the scenic route. Did I take the scenic route? I probably took the scenic route. Uh, the symbol for the dining hall is the candles. Candles. You hear the candles. Does it show where I am on the map? I don't see me. But it's right over there. So yeah, we're going to walk our way over to the Grand Hall. Here are some... The slow falling is weird, but here are some signs. Dining Hall. It's down here. Whee. What do I look like? I still just look like me. I don't have any fancy robes like these people. That is okay. I'm the first mushroom person amongst, amongst a bunch of humans. Sounds about right. How much does this give? Two. Alright. And this way to Dining Hall. We're basically going to be following the quest book as best we can. What is this? Beggars and Bargains. Uh, there are Goblin Shops. Monster Drops for Magical Items. Okay. Neat. And then there's the subjects, progression. Oh, I'm excited. I, I, this is a very neat idea. I assume this is the dining hall over here. Hello. Hello, little wisp. Found the... Oh. 
It doesn't go anywhere. It's an exit, not an entrance. Oh, this is the one that drops me off at the dining hall, isn't it? <laughs> that I that I missed. No, dining hall is over here? Okay. We're already getting lost. It's a beautiful build. A bit more cauldrony than I expected. Hello. Dorms area. Nope. Dorms are not the way I need to go. I guess maybe this is the dining hall then. The dining hall is also this way. I should have taken the teleporter. <laughs> maybe the dining hall is past the dorms? I don't know where my dorm is at the moment. This looks like the dining hall entrance. What? An island category. Main islands? No, no, no. That's a that's a leave. That makes me leave. Uh, I guess up here. Dining hall? No, that also goes to a main island. Who could have predicted that the beginning of this would have been me getting lost? Where is the dining hall? Okay, obviously this takes a lot of inspiration from Harry Potter. And, uh, basically the whole magic school subgenre. I have read and seen Harry Potter. I think it's just okay. This looks like, are you an entrance or an exit? It's an exit. So maybe this is the dining hall. This is the dining hall. There we go. Took us a bit, but we made it. Enjoy my cherry peach. Hello, Ghostopedia. Silver coins can be traded for food at the Ghostopedia. Dining hall zone. Uh. Open my tome. I did it. Uh, blah, blah. Choose a house. House of Earth stands as a bastion of unwavering strength and loyalty. Sanctuary for those whose spirits echo the resolute foundations of the Earth itself. Decide your dorm. We're probably going to go... F uh, finding your element. Free to modify the area to your liking. We're probably going to go Terra... Yeah, of water, fire, earth, air. I typically go air or earth. What's this? What are you? Craft with mod books. Okay. Um, you know, we're probably going to go earth element. Thank you. Let's go to the dorms. Also, just the earth robes look cooler. I know for like when it comes to like Ars Novu, the the earth tomes aren't the best. If I were optimizing, I'd probably go fire or air, but I like earth. In avatar terms, I'm definitely an airbender. Like far and away an airbender, especially like uh, when you're talking. Original series. We are Terra Crest, Elemental Earth. Pre 
Radiating Island. Create my island. Create my island? There we go. It took a minute. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> I love how I look. I love it. Yes. Okay. So we are earthy. Then return to campus and ready ourselves for lessons. Classes must be done in a certain order. Check the progression chapter. Can't find a class. Take a look at the interactive map. Spend some experience to teleport around. Cool. If you ever need to return to your dorms, you can always use FTB Team Island Home Command to teleport from anywhere. Okay. And then we can choose a professor to start with. Blood and Sacrifice, ma Magical Flowers, Dark Arts, Fabrication Magic, Nature is Beautiful. I want to take a quick look around the dorms. And in here we can build freely and like change how stuff looks. Ooh. Yes. I'm ready for my journey. I'm going to take a little screenshot. Boop. All right, let's... Uh, I don't know if monsters will spawn in here or not. Let's go to our first class. We do have two levels, so I would like to go to the enchanted map. Spawn... Where would I most want to be able to teleport to quickly? Dorms portal? No, we can get to the dorms anywhere from a slash teleport. Probably like right there. Magical Mischief Emporium visit to unlock its fast travel. Okay. What class is going to be the first one I go to? Remind me what the main classes are. Nature is beautiful. Art, aura and roots. It's blood and sacrifice. I do like Batania a lot. Evil craft and hexery. I also do really love Ars Novu. Let's start with Ars Novu. It's it's my it's my my love and joy. So we'll go to quests, enchanted map, Ars Novu. It's yours. Boom. And that should now have unlocked that as a teleport. Or does that permanently... I can permanently teleport there, right? That's not like a... I don't know. Maybe eek. Hello, Professor Regen. Cultivate and nurture a few trees within your dorms. If we go to this. I need to make some logs. Okay. I'm leaving the class. Yes. Because I need to go back to my dorm. FTB Team Islands Home. We'll see if that is a now uh, repeatable teleport or not. If that's not a repeatable teleport, we'll find out shortly. Craft with mod books. Oh! Okay, cool. That I can load that up with my quest books as I get them. Quest completed. Your first logs. Even a magic school were starting by punching wood. 
I should sleep though, it's dark. Well, I don't see any mobs. I do see a sylph, but I don't see any like mobs to fight. I'm gonna have a little sleeps. Are there any beds in here? Or are they all decorative? Are there any real beds? Some stray mushrooms. Thanks. Is there no real bed in here? No, I don't see a real bed in here. These are all big decorative beds. <laughs> That's unexpected. Okay. Apparently screw us and screw sleep. They got that part right about college. Does this have controls, keybinds, uh, vein? No, it's mine. Let me see if it has the the button for. No, it does not appear to have vein miner or anything of that nature. First logs. Uh, upon completing certain classes, it will provide you with saplings. Grown and harvest in your dorms. Cool. Receive the gl glyph of craft. Cannot place or use crafting tables. Your first quest to be get a glyph of crafting. Okay. Interesting. Keep that in mind. Also, my uh, 4x4 tree did not grow into a 4x4. It was just one. It's probably good in terms of how long this takes. I could just let this tree sit here, but I'm going to break it all. Also, I wonder if the, the color of archwood you get is based on your school. Because there is one for each of the colors. So it makes sense. Either way, I'm glad I got the green. Also, since I can build in the dorm, I could destroy... One of the decorative beds to build a real bed. Though if there's no monsters in here, I don't need it. Necessarily. Especially if I can just warp back here. I think I, yeah, I got all the wood. We won't be able to make any pretty gilded chests because I don't have gold, but we'll be able to make some basic chests. Yippee. gonna grow so those uh, that's a weird looking tree what's with the leaves must be one of the mods look really weird
There we go. Oh no, I didn't get all the wood. Since we can't place crafting tables. Let me see. Given as a quest reward, okay. So we probably have to go back to the R's class with the nurtured wood. That is very nice, though, that um, once all the... Once you've disconnected the wood from the leaves, all the leaves just break themselves. It's a nice middle ground. And because this has nature... Uh, the This has roots in it. You get a bunch of crap from tree leaves. A mod that I previously haven't really dug too much into that I would like to this time around part of why I went nature. Also looking at the map, apparently there's a chicken in my dorm? <laughs> my one roommate is a chicken. And two sylphs. We're not going to break any of the big decorative trees, probably. Man, that one sapling gave me like a stack of wood. Come on. Having like haste one in here would have been a blessing. Just to make this all go a little faster. Now let's find out if I can use that teleporter more than once. Oh, here we go. Oh, I did it. XP, source berries, glyph of craft, novice spellbook. Yippee! Uh, use the glyph of crafting. Make a self craft. Call it my crafting table. Create. Also give me a projectile harm harm. As usual, it is pew pew. Um, I can't. That should be enough. And then... Touch break. Mage shovel. Projectile break. of mining. There we go. We were no voot up. Go to progression. Get some source berry rolls. Next is complete any unlock and unlock smeltery. Or go to the mana pool. Get something else in here. Oh, I get that for doing that. Spell creation. Acquired and learned spell glyph. Use in learning spells. Form of delivery. Spell that spell does. Yeah, I know how to do that. Give me some source coal. Janitorial effort. Kill a zombie. Lurking in the valley surrounding the school near boulders and the coast. Make a harm spell to deal with them. Okay. So let's open up our map. I kind of don't want to re-click that in case that just sends us there again. Spawn. I don't want it to use our levels again. Map information. Uh, keep in mind some locations may require currently unavailable. Conceal them. You fulfill. Okay. Repeatable quest. Rob songs buoyed. Magical mischief and visit to unlock the fast travel. Does so I should walk down there to unlock that fast travel. Uh, 
Okay, that does use my levels every time, so I'll keep that in mind. Hello. I completed your previous quest. Of uh, these. Oh, I didn't have to come in here. Okay. So now I want to leave class. Whee! Nice. So we want to unlock the fast travel. That's near all the classes. You know what? Uh, go to settings, video settings. Turn my render distance down a bit. We don't really need it very high, considering we're in a pre-built. We slowly float down. Is this the Ars Novu Dining Hall? Oh, there I am on the map. I need to go at the M map, so I'm there. Compare that to this map, I'm here. So I need to come over here and in there. Where are the monsters at? It told me to go after. Near boulders, northeast of the Northern Food classroom, by the shoreline. Okay. But I would like to come over here to get that fast travel. That's across this bridge, right? Nope, other bridge. We might as well ask to talk to the, the fairy. Hello. Nope, okay, you have nothing to say to me. Rude. This one, right? Yes. This path. I really like this. It's like a modded adventure map, but it's not technically an adventure map. And I assume it's through here? We'll find it. Hello, Yoshi. Yoshi. Okay, it's just a Yoshi. Oh, I get speed in here. Speed. Hello. Hey, fast travel unlocked. It's a collector. You trade gold coins for things. Cool. So unlock the fast travel. Right there. Nice. Oh, all the fast travels cost 2 XP. Boo. Um. So the monster's over by the shoreline to the northeast. So like up there. So I want to exit through here. Oh, might as well use a fast travel. We'll also start our quest for this teacher. Hello. Welcome to Malum. Thank you. We will add it to our eccentric tome. I need to eat. So what is our first quest? Um, don't use all of, of all your brilliant fiber. Obtain a golden leaf. 
Dark conversion on leaves. Comedy golden leaf. Okay. But first, we want to go over here. Ah, it shows some on the map. Okay. So we want to go this way. Pew, pew. There's some mega torches. This is a problem. <laughs> oh, these apple slices do like nothing. Somebody stop sinking. Mage Shuffle can't even save me. Come on. Give me health. The submarine sandwiches seem really strong, so I should save them if I can, but... What is source coal for? Oh, it's for smelting things. Okay, give me this. Need the... Can't get out. Am I gonna get pricked to death? I was gonna get prickled to death. Ow. That would have been embarrassing. There's some squid. I need to get all the way back up there. I mean, I guess we could try out harm on some squid, but... Alright, we want to go northeast. Did not expect the, uh, I, it's, I thought the 2 XP would unlock the fast travel, not that I would need to spend 2 XP for every fast travel. That just makes me want to grind up a bunch of XP, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We'll also need to figure out a way to, you know, get food and stuff like that. So we could buy food with coins. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. These are the boulders they're talking about. And I saw there was a way to turn in the mob drops for stuff earlier. It's so like this is like the wilds. Oh, there's a spawner. Hey, there we go. Oh, baby zombie. Why would you spawn baby zombies in a school, you monster? I caught something. What? Encyclopedia Arcana. From Malum. Okay, I got my Malum book. Unexpected. A genitorial effort. Nice. Till the earth. Uh, no mortal method to till the earth can be found. Has successfully bound capabilities of a hoe to the wand of the forest. Use the water bucket given previously until you have the means to conjure water for yourself. Okay. So we need to visit the Batania classroom. Uh, let's add the Malum book to our thing. 
learn the Glyph of Harvest. Let's farm a little bit more XP up over here. What was the other thing we got? We got a Gate Pearl. Oh, a Runic Tablet. This is for Roots. I remember that one. This is like our textbook. Hi. A vanilla sword might not be a bad idea. For when mana runs out. Maybe not a vanilla sword. We'll probably get a... A sword from one of these mods soon enough. Once I visited every class. I like this. This is a this is a great idea. I'm surprised I've not seen a mod pack do this before. They also said, who armor? I mean, it's probably not better than our armor though, is it? Yes, because this isn't actually armor. It's cosmetic, isn't it? Spell focus, bangle. Yeah, it's just cosmetic armor. Good to know. I'm probably gonna keep my mob drops in. Whoops. I was trying to use my little bag. Piece of crap. Let me bag. I assume these wave... I remember these wave pearls. They're pretty good. I don't remember how to use this. Do you, like, do it like that? Or I might have already screwed it up by taking stuff out of it. I don't know. Do you craft it with it? I don't know. It just exists now. I want to get up to, like, level 10 or so, probably. Little casual punching. There we go. Check out the quests. Teacher's favors. Oh, it can turn in. I see. Uh, ah! Alright. Nine levels is enough levels. Let's visit the other classrooms. Where am I on the map? I mean, I could just hop. Now that I know how easy it is to... Yeah, let's just hop. Let's go to Hexery. Hi. Hexery, the Dark Arts. Origins of Evil. As you do, just casually teaching your kids evil. Or I guess teaching your mages evil. That is really cool. Way to read the book. Then, Blood and Sacrifice. We need to find Seraf. Go to the Enchanted Map. Oh, you know what? Let's go to Botany. Or Batania, rather. Hi. Love me some Batania. Can I put the quest book in here? I can. Probably can't put the spell book in here. I can? No, that seems like it would not be helpful. Hmm.
There we go. Can I, like, remove it? Uh, drop while sneaking to remove book. Sneak drop. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's visit one of the other ones. Blood and Sacrifice. Seraph. That was the one we meant to do last. Blood and Sacrifice. Hi. Thank you. So many books, so little time. Let's get back to the dorm. This is a very, very cool mod pack. Oh, I just noticed a thing up in the sky. So we've got some quests we can do. Ooh, we got this. Have we not done any... Dark Gems, Man of Steel, Spirits, Other Stone, <laughs> Source Berries. Over here we can trade things in for Silver Coins. Silver coins. These are different villagers. Different. Oh no, you have gold. Oh no, these are the same. Oh, some of them are the same. Okay. Uh, renowned for their ex extensive selection. Monster drops, as well as magical items they can offer in exchange. Keep an eye out for new opportunities. Upgrade your equipment. Thanks. Um... The dining hall. Cool. Chapter complete. Info. <laughs> uh, mana po Get your first cobblestone. Searching through the dirt in your living spaces. Shift right clicking on grass with an open hand. Okay. There we go. What is a clump of soil? Used to make dirt. Makes sense. Cobblestone. Get some food. Branch of mercy. Oh. The kindness. Like the crafting table, use of non-magical furnaces is prohibited. We host several courses on smelting properly, like wizards. It's a tier 2 glyph. Okay, cool. Um, we need a chest. Need some chests. Put some stuff away so I've got some space to work. Cool. Uh, scribes table. We can make that. Let's make our scribes table. Scribes table. There we go. Scribes table. Ooh, budding amethyst. As well as some amethyst on a lantern. Throw the glyphs. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to place down this budding amethyst. Yep. 
Lumios. Oh, we can do that. We actually have exactly enough stuff. For torches. We get our XP back to you. The lantern, and we need a torch. All right, let's do one of these other ones next. That requires wool. Bird bath. Observe the petal apothecary. Uh. <laughs> oh, you can make your own. Okay. Petal apothecary. We need a botanical flower. I have one. Open up my crafting table. Petal apothecary. Boom. Bird bath. Make a pure daisy. Can do. Get a wooden bucket. And then with a seed. Bam. Pure daisy. I like the new texture on the pure daisy. Ooh. Um, give me some lime. And an overgrowth seed. Uh, transmit. Yes. Wand of the Living Forest. Also gives us a hoe. So we want to set down this pure daisy somewhere, right over here. Going Ars Novu first was the right call. <laughs> That'll all become that. I've never actually used an overgrowth seed. Got some endo flames already, which is nice. Put in this way, I still don't know what you do. Uh, we're saving that for a ingredient. We got our first cobblestone. Need to make a mana pool as well. But how do I smelt to get the mana pool? So it is harder to come by. We can use cobblestone in a pinch. Okay. That's useful. Because I was like, we don't have a way to smelt yet. So that makes uh, the whole smooth stone thing a lot harder. Again, also love that texture. So we can turn that into living wood, or living stone, rather. We've got our two mystical limes. We just need one. Open our crafting table. And... One of the force that's also a hoe. Beautiful. We're out of water, but we can go collect water elsewhere. Wand of the Elden Forest. I don't actually know what that is. Um. Oh, it's a three by three hoe. Yeah, I'm going to want the 3x3 three three hoe. That's just really good. Whoops. Oh, sorry, dirt. Rooted dirt. I see. Give me back my spell book. I am really enjoying this so far. I'm going to have to see how long we've been going in the episode, because this first one I've not been editing up a bit. 
Oh, we got time to do a little more. So now we want to make our first meta pool. Beautiful. Floating Jaded Amaranthus. That was also used for progression. Yeah. Obtaining water. We can turn mana into water. That's very useful. So let's set down a mana pool, like right here. They gave us some endo flames, but we don't have any way to point mana yet. So let's go back to Botanical Gardens. We need a mana spreader. We need more wood. Plant some more trees. One, two, three, four, five. This is great. It's like, what is it, Jamie Amaranthus? I'm not. In... Uh, I can actually check my books. Might as well use my one of my books for the thing it's used for. Oh, we got the challenges in here. Okay. Um, animal farm. Let's see. Locked. Functional flora. Flower shrinking. Man manipulation. I'm just gonna. Can I look it up in here? Entry index. A jaded amaranthus. I'm gonna have to look it up just because I don't see it in there anywhere. Also, remind me of what my grown crops. Yeah, so that'll be that's like our scythe. I need an amethyst. I have that. I have an amethyst. You want a spreader, spreader. Spreader. Boop. Got a mana spreader. Reward is Rune of Gluttony, Black Lotus, and some XP. Why not? Oh, into a non-empty mana pool, that's right. So pop an endo flame. I really want to smell, but for now we'll just use some wood. I want to save those carrots to plant them. Are there apple saplings? No. There are apple slices. Fruit salads. How much mana is needed to get water progression? Uh, obtaining water. Wooden bucket. Do I need to make another wooden bucket? Is the current bucket I have not sufficient? I can fill it with soup. Bat soup. Might as well make it. I've got the wood. It does since it shows a specific different recipe. I don't have enough mana. Okay, we need more mana. I can do that. Enjoy. But I think this is a good place to uh, end off today's episode. I'm really enjoying this mod pack. Probably going to be recording next week's episode right afterwards. 
And uh, if you enjoy Magic, if you enjoy Minecraft, we've got plenty of that both here and on Twitch. I'm also using this as a way to cross-plug our our D and D Let's Play of D and D Let's Play D and D campaign of Strixhaven, which is on Twitch every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find the VOD on my channel right after this, or on my friend Anna Lee's channel, the uh, the DM. I will have episode one linked down in the description. Thanks for watching. Other than that, peace out, guys. Hello, what's happening? It's that man in black and green. Sometimes sweet and saccharine. Sometimes he be as mad as me. Insanity, persistently, forever entertaining. The man in green. This is triple.